Hey everybody, and um, welcome to another episode of Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. I am Frank. And I'm Peter. And today we're going to do... I got a question for you before God. we even get too far. Damn it. Wow. All right. Sure. Man, go ahead. Sorry. Man, Man you you're just... You're one of those kids that like three in the morning on Christmas. Can we open presents now? Can we open presents now? Can we open presents now? Are you kidding? I wait Christmas Eve. Uh, Can't even wait. All right. Go ahead. Um, okay. I think an integral part of movies is uh, the movie poster. No. You haven't even gotten to the movie wow. in some cases yet, but you see a poster. Yes. Just think about this. We'll talk about it at the end. Okay. Um, is there one poster that gave you an impression, like really just grabbed either grabbed you or maybe even after the fact you started thinking you go oh i got a misimpression from that okay one. you know all right all something right, like cool. this so just right, think I'll about think the about movie poster i will we'll think about that all right so before i was so um well whatever interrupted maybe yeah who are we doing who went sidelined um Anyway, so today we're actually going to talk about Frances McDormand. Oh, Frances McDormand. McDormand. Let's talk about her top three. So I'm going to go first. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel the need to assert. Anyway, Frances McDormand. Do. Yes. Uh, she's absolutely fantastic. Love her. She is. Um, so my first, and this is going to seem completely obvious, but I'm going to go with Fargo. You have to go with Fargo. Okay. Um, I think that is I agree. her... I don't know. I don't want to say best, but uh, most iconic yeah. performances because it really is. It'll be on your tombstone, it, I think. That one really is. Just, is yeah, that's yeah, I, I, iconic. And she's um, she's so great, and the way she waddles around, pregnant as a cop in the snow, trying to solve these murders, yeah. and she's just so she's someone that you do kind of want to hang out. She seems like a very real person and one of the great that, exactly. deceits of that movie is um that it, it, the movie starts off with you know based, oh, on, based on true events so the first yeah. time you're seeing this movie um you're just like oh this yeah and so you start yeah. you, you think that um this is a she's a real person and here she is and she is very much like oh, oh, just a real person because she's just this she's going she's just a cop in a small town and she's pregnant and then there's her husband who's a painter and they're just yeah. going through their little life you get it and um yeah so she uh, gets 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 caught up in this whole thing, and then of course the really fun part is finding out that it is not based on a true story. And how correct, many people correct. have gone? I think and you hear stories about people who have gone and tried to like dig up and find the money, and that, that's the yeah. lovely, lovely thing. Yeah. You gotta love the internet, right? I do. So I do think that the like, Cohen brothers in that one really had fun with that. Just. Just, just that saying that yeah. in their movie to start the movie, because it was going on, it was going around a lot in movies. You know, this is based on the truth, so yeah. other movies kind of do it, and some of those stretch the truth. So this one, they just right. said, let's just fabricate, yeah, it. Which just, is just, just put it out there. And I love to think that well, there's, maybe oh, there's some aspects they were... that are real. Well, yeah, they're human beings. That's an aspect yeah. that is real. I mean, you know. But what's great about it is that you. I really hope that the that that spark of inspiration came as they're just sort of sitting around. They look, they just finished like the last cut of the movie, and just one of them goes, "Hey, you know, it would be really funny. It's funny. <laughs> if we could just put at the beginning put, of this one, if we just put a little little title card at the beginning based on a true story. Yeah, do it, beautiful. Are you so, kidding? Who believed that? Believe that? But, uh, and Francis McDormand in it is uh, is great. My one of my favorite scenes is when she's um in the restaurant with her old like school mate or whatever and she's finally she's sort of getting that oh he's into her and she's just like right. sort of like it's so funny because she's dealing with all this grisly crime stuff and yeah she's like that's her day-to-day -day, and, yeah. and and she is just totally surprised and flummoxed by this guy being yeah. just like, I'm just so lonely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just so, her face is just so, 
Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Sorry, dude. This is like not. I've got norm. Right. Okay. All that. I so know. great. She's she's so. Oh no. Yeah. That. Um. But definitely. Um. And at the end, where where she's just so matter of fact, you know, <laughs> she's like, I'm a cop. I a badge. On my right. Because he can't hear. <laughs> and it's your buddy and the wood chipper there. I mean, that's one of those. That's one of those um, those things where you need to see this movie, not just because it's a great movie, but because it has so many things that pop up in pop culture. Oh, yeah. It's, and and I, I love seeing that. It's such a great movie and little things will, will pop up later in pop culture and be referenced and, and things mm -hmm. like that. And Fargo is, is one of those movies where you oh, see yeah. stuff like that. So, Definitely. Um, so yeah, that is um, that's one of my probably my favorite of hers. Uh, switching gears quite a bit, I'm gonna go to uh, three billboards mm -hmm. uh, in Ebbing, Missouri. Yeah. Um, wow, wow, wow! What a performance in that. She is mad yeah. as hell, and she's yep. gonna do anything that she needs to do. To call out this chef to investigate the um, her, her her daughter, and it's just, just she's just so mad, and she's just she'll punch any literally punch anybody in the face to do what she needs to do, mm -hmm. and it's just a, a a a portrayal of this woman who's had enough waiting. She's had enough of people telling her yeah, it's beyond well, frustration at this point. Time, yeah, yeah, and. Um, we really feel bad, you know, thoughts and prayers and all that kind yeah. of foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. And she's little, just, yeah. she's just tired of it. And she, she does the only thing she can, which is to just publicly call him out. And, um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Just that, that bottled up rage. And that's not, um, that's not a role that I could remember seeing her in, you know, quite like that. Yeah. She's always yeah. just kind of even, a little bit funny, quirky. Um, but to see her just so, just this absolute rage monster was um, yeah. just like, yeah, damn it, I'm, I'm mad as hell too. Let's go kick some ass. Um, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. And it, it, it just go, you know, you can only take so much. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And she's past that point. Yeah, it's um, it's it's great, and you just totally identify with her. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, you know, I want to find out what happened too. Now let's kick some ass. Yeah. So um, that and then my the, the next one is such a there's so much other stuff going on in this movie, and she's um, it's it's Wonder Boys. Oh, okay. With uh, with Michael Douglas, Tobey Maguire, and um, so Katie Holmes is in it, and she just um, she plays Michael. Douglas's. I get to see this one again. Girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, she's but, having yeah. an affair because she's married, but um, she's just so matter of fact. She's just so even keeled to you know what she wants, and then she finds out she's pregnant. It's just like great. Now I have to deal with this, and I have to yeah. deal with now. I have to divorce this guy, and but she knows that she's dealing with these people who are just. Um, some arrested development. She, no matter where, no matter if it's her, her husband with yeah. his weird collectibles thing, or, or the Michael Douglas character, great, he was just trying to, um, like you know, chug out another book, and um, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. shows up in yes. that as well as the agent, and but but everything that's going on with him, she's just like, dude, look, can you just. Be a grown up. This is a serious Just situation. Yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah. I need. I need ten minutes of your focused attention. I need to talk to another adult. I need there. to talk to another. You <laughs> speak one more adult in the room. Yeah, because it doesn't and work. It's just not one. working with me being the only one. Yeah. And um, she's just so. She's sort of like the literally the mom figure. In this. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you end up kind of happy, kind of where they end up at the end, because it's just like okay. Great, because she sort of helped him elevate his um, outlook on the world and stop being such a quirky jackass. Um, yeah, so so those are my uh, those are my three Francis oh, McDonald. Good, very good, dirty. yeah. So she's uh, she's fantastic. I, I like everything that she pops up in. I do too. Oh yeah, 
Definitely do. She's married to one of the Cohen brothers. Yes, but don't, don't ask know, me which one. Don't know which one. It's either um, Joel or Ethan. Yeah, I got to narrow yeah, down probably, those I, two. I can never remember. And um, good neither. For me, they're interchangeable. Hopefully, for her, they're not. No, if you look at them, one's like I about mean, a foot taller yeah, than the exactly. other one. So um, I mean, that's probably a collaboration they do not. Participated. No, I don't think so. Anyway, so um, that took a turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure exactly. All right. Let's um, uh let's take this take this second, moment to uh, yeah. get you guys to subscribe and like, like and comment and, subscribe. and follow us yeah, on Yeah, please the share with your friends, comment. We'd love to really, you know, get Start a little a dialogue, feedback like yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh check us out also on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Good yes. Right. Let's do that. All right. All right. Friends what do you got dormant. Same thing. I I Good. really I did. when you when you see her in a movie, you always it's like the the first thing that I'll do is especially if I don't know she's in a movie or whatever. You see the movie and you go, oh, Francis oh, McDormand's yeah. in this one. This is going to be oh, good. Great. This will be fun. Yeah. yeah, it's it's almost like you, I'm not saying that she reminds me of this other actor, but I get that same feeling if I see if I if I'm watching a movie and I and I uh, see Jeff Daniels in it and I'll go oh it's going to be a good movie his okay. his role's going to be good for it's going to bring something out I have no idea why for some reason I thought you were going to say Sally Field and wow. in my head no, she's not no, one of my favorites no she's, she's not yeah. one of my favorites yeah no and, no and then in my head I started thinking about the Sally Field Ethan Hawke movie that I would not see and <laughs> and then I'm like that's a oh, double wait. whammy for and you and I'm just like oh wait a minute Peter's talking I should probably put this in I should pay attention <laughs> sorry Go no ahead. no no it's 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 almost like I think we 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 take I'm not gonna say certain actors for granted but there's there's something about the way that that both Jeff Daniels and I think Francis McDormand carried themselves. They're they're both just kind of regular people who seem to be incredibly gifted and work yeah. hard at their craft. Yeah. And there's not much of like a like a Hollywood persona to either one of them. Yeah. But when they're in a movie, you go, oh, I am so glad that they're in this movie. Yeah. And Francis McDormand's incredible. I'm just gonna go right off, right to the top. It is my favorite. It's my favorite um, Francis McDormand role. It is one of my favorite all time. Really roles. building this up. Yeah. What is it? It's Fargo. I can't can yeah, can't beat can. that. She's, that one. Yeah. That's so good. Um. It's. What can you say about uh, Marge Gunderson, right? <laughs> what can you say about her? It's at the at the center is this uh, wonderful, kind, very polite woman, yeah, who happens to be the police chief of uh, Brainerd, Minnesota, and. She also happens to be, I don't know, like seven or eight months pregnant. Yeah. She's she's that way out there. She is, yeah, she's yeah. very nice. And she <laughs> she's just so polite because she has this great she, she she has this wonderful relationship that you sometimes you almost don't see in movies sometimes. Is she's just got this this great little love story with her husband yeah. and the husband with her. And it's great, you know, like in the middle of the night, she has to go out, and he's just like, eggs, you need it, I'm going to make I'll you, make some, you eggs. some eggs. And he gets, no, oh, don't get up, it's the middle of the night, and it, you know. And What's then like, oh, about... the, the, uh, car, the uh, prowler needs a jump, you know, <laughs> how she refers to the, to the police car, you know, the prowler needs a jump. And it's like, they just, I'll agree, because there's, the way they use him in, in that, he's, you know, the cops spouse. We've seen it a million times, and I can't recall many of them because a cop spouse is right. either just there or or they're so put upon, or they're so just, put upon, oh. or they're an ex spouse. Oh, because right? of the job. Yeah, yes. because of the job. Uh, but in this, 
not only do you kind of know him, not only do you get a sense of their relationship, you're also slightly invested in his like his bid to get his painting on a postage stamp. You're kind of like at the end of it, yeah, because you 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 well, you're I, just like oh all right I, good I, good for him. I think think also what is great is that because what her job is. Uh, chief of police of this little yeah. force, or maybe not so little, but of this police force, her job, it's just what it is with anybody who is a police officer, but if you're the chief, it's a you're on call 24 hours. Yeah. It's just what it is. His job is the antithesis of that. He still puts a lot of time into it, but his hours are just completely different because right. he's a freelance artist. He's a painter. You know what I mean? So it's interesting to see like the fact that their careers couldn't be more diverse, yeah. more different, but there's this love and support each one has for the other. And I just, I love that part. Now her character is just <laughs> plight and kind, even when she's trying to help and assist like younger rookie people, she, you know, she'll say something like, I don't think that's right. And then she'll you want to check your police work there. You got it. You got to check check your police work. She's probably one of the most badass movie cops without one badass moment. She's <laughs> she's still so pleasant. Yeah. Even when she's interrogating, like you know, when she's questioning, um, you know, the William H Macy character, and. And as you said, there's the scene in the restaurant with the thing, and that makes her think, I, I think, it's used to make her think, if he's lying to me, maybe i got to go <laughs> back and question the other guy again. And that kind of, you know, yeah. gets the second questioning, which, you know, oh, he's fleeing an interrogation, <laughs> you know, whatever she says. Fleeing, like that he's one. fleeing. <laughs> um, it's, it's. It, it's it's great, but the thing is, she's also she's she's so smart in the movie. She she figures things out, but because it's portrayed as a um, small town, and she's cheerful, she's so methodical that it almost seems like everybody's just kind of moving a little slower sometimes. Yeah. But it's not that. It's just that she's just so methodical. She figures it out. And, you know, she understands, oh, it's, these aren't local people. This has got to be from the, from the big city, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and it, it, it's just this wonderful thing. Yeah. And she's, she's, she's cheerful and polite. And she's got these attributes that you don't sometimes associate <laughs> with a serious chief of police who ultimately brings the people to justice yeah. and it's not like they're pulling the wool over her eyes it's it, you know it's just taking time to um, right. and yeah. i just love i no, so just good. love that so performance good. that's just uh that's just you know great and she's she's just committed to the job but she's committed to her husband and you you know that it's going to sound corny something wonderful is going to happen because as you're watching the movie you can tell they have no children as of yet right and she's expecting, so you know, you know, That's like, nice. this is great. She's, you know, she solves what would be in her town a big, yeah, a big crime. She solves that mystery. The husband, you know, has this, has this great little, little reward at the end. He gets the, he gets the, the, uh, the award from, he's not awarded, but he's, he's, he's given thing from the, the U.S., uh, Postal uh, society is going uh, service is going to give him their whatever stamp the for the stamp for the one cent or the, or the two cent stamp whatever like whatever the the uh, you know denomination is of the stamp. Sometimes you have to add that up so you get them. Okay. Ouch! So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, you know, so there's that, and then you know, you did. They, they're expecting their first yeah, child. It's just it's, a wonderful, it's right? And yeah. she's it, it, she just plays that so well. I just love that role. Can't say enough. Um, what else you got? So that was that was the first one. That always will stick in my mind. Yeah. Is 
Frances McDormand's best role. Now that doesn't mean that that's yeah all she's got. She's got a lot know, of other roles. So uh, the a second one that I think of uh, occasionally is um, Almost Famous. Oh yeah, she's she's the mother in this one, yeah. and uh, she's. Um, <sighs> I don't want to say it. She's she's concerned. She's a concerned parent. She might try a little too hard sometimes. <laughs> she might be a little too forceful with her children. Oh. A little too overbearing sometimes. <laughs> she wants to, you know, she wants to push them. Drive. She's a, call. I forget. If she's a college professor, or a high school professor. Anyway, she's a she's a teacher. So she's intelligent. Yeah. Uh, certainly means well. You know, education is going to come first yeah. because that's who she is and what she does. And not the first one you think is going to, you know, let her kid go follow a rock. Yeah, and and the, the other thing is, she's already she has two children. She's already essentially pushed away the older, yeah, one, the, the daughter. She's, you know, didn't mean to, but she's just overbearing, and the daughter doesn't really get along as well. I think the son might be a little more understanding yeah. with that, but, you know, so the, the daughter, as soon as she's done, she's done. She takes off and becomes a, uh, a flight attendant, I want to say. Yeah, she she's a, she's <laughs> goes to an airline and she gets a flight attendant job, which is just something she's wanted, and that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, the mother, she's she has pushed her away, and she's kind of doing the same thing with the boy, but the boy's a little more understanding. And then at like 15, he passes himself off, over the phone anyway, passes himself off uh, to Rolling Stone magazine as, um, <laughs> you know, he's gonna, he's gonna uh, be able to write a story for them. And then once again, because everything's over the phone, nobody realizes yeah. how young he good really old days. is. Yeah. And so this is based on Cameron Crowe's real life, right? I believe. Yeah, there's a lot that yeah. Cameron Crowe takes from his his own. But yeah, uh, it's it's it it's still fiction, but right. there's but there's a there's lot threads of in there that he's in yeah there. yeah yeah. And so um, it's it's just uh, you know it's a great thing and it's a good performance because she you know she keeps trying and now that he's on the road. He's away from his mother. He's got weird hours now because he's living on the tour bus. So yeah. their schedule is not the same as a normal person. So he misses phone calls from her, gets her a little more worried, yeah, you know. Agitated. And then he yeah. misses time, the right times to call her up. So, you know, he's promised to call you every day, blah, blah, blah. We'll write, you know, this and that one. will only be for a thing. I'll be back. I won't miss more than... I want to say he says something like, I won't miss more than one class or, or, or one paper or one assignment. And, I'm and of course, the like, with really? a rock band. But no, I'm only going to miss yeah. like one quiz. I'm not going to miss. And so, like, it's, of course, <laughs> she, it, there's, there's like a scene where uh, Frances McDormand is, is there at the graduation service. Because her son is in absentia. <laughs> he doesn't make it. He just misses the whole thing. So he has to actually like kind of finish later on. But uh, but she's still there. And, um, and you know, she applauds when his name is called. He's not even there. And nobody's, you know. Yeah, she's great. And, uh, and so she's wonderful. She's, she's a little, a little, you know, definitely overprotective. A little overbearing. Yeah. But there's a love and a concern there for her son, and you know, and it's 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 a it's a great She's performance. She's got a very mom. She can. Vibe. She definitely yeah, she can. can. Yeah. And in that so, one, she does, and it's and it's and it's I, fun to see her like a little a little too much, like yeah. a little too loving. Because sometimes you get that other little edge to her, which she's great in performing, like in in. Uh, you know, the three billboards. Yeah. Uh, you know, but um, so that one always, it's a, there There are definitely other roles out there, but I kind of like that one because it's, 
it, it's one of those that you you might forget about sometimes but oh, um, yeah. when I, you when you when you're watching the movie um, you know it's definitely about you know the boy um, who you know he's the main character and he spends a lot of time on the road so we get to see the band a lot more but um, it's just, it's great though when when she's in a scene yeah. though whether it's on the phone or other times and then there's there's a good there's a good scene too where um, actually there's 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 two scenes because she, she talks on the phone and then she meets him at the end but the lead the uh, lead guitar is kind of like the founder of the band. Yeah gets on the phone at some point and she just gives him a talking down, you know, just like she's upset because she's been not in contact with her son and, uh, you know, and she knows, she's already got him pegged, you know, you guys just, you know, interested in drinking and drugs and, and this is bad, you stay away from those drugs and she's going to lecture him and then at the end of the movie he actually meets her and then she... She, you know, she she like knows. Oh, nice to meet you in, you know, in person, <laughs> Russell. You know, he's like, oh yes, ma'am. You know, and all of a yeah. sudden he's just got oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. yeah. Yes, ma'am. So uh, it's uh, it it that's a great role. I like that little role. All right. And then um, uh, a third one is another side of her. It's an it's an early one. I want to say it might be her first one, but it's it's the first. It's a it's a Coen Brothers movie. It's the first one, uh, Blood Simple. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, that's a great movie. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, if when when you watch the movie, you should see all of these movies that we've mentioned. Just watch them. Um, when you see the movie, it, it's it's basically about four people. How to put this in a nutshell? It's basically about four people who do not, for one reason or another, trust anybody else other than themselves. There is no communication, no real communication. Yeah. Nobody knows, you know, really what the other one is, is up to, and they really just figure everybody's lying to them, can't trust anybody. And, you know, and so Frances McDormand is one of those four people. She's married to... She's married to a, uh, the bar owner, but she's having an affair with the bartender. And, uh, you, know, she's, you know, it's, it's like a, a willful, conscious decision. She's just going to play around, just looking out for herself. And, um, Good for her! And she knows that, you know, this may have consequences, and it does. And, like I said, the four, it kind of revolves around the four people trying to come out, each one wants to come out on top. Each one either wants money or revenge or, or sex or something. And it's, it's just a great little movie, but it, but she's in there and she's, um, she's not innocent. <laughs> she's just as complicit as the rest. She's going to try to work angles around and it's a great little, I don't know, psychological thriller yeah. and, yeah, great movie. It's you know, yeah, it's it's like film years. noir. It's uh, it's it's a great it's a great thing, and it's uh, and it's a little different than uh, some of her roles. Yeah. Most of her roles, I should say. Uh, because she's younger, um, she's not she's not somebody's mom. She's not, you know what I mean. Yeah. So she so she doesn't have to be uptight or serious. She doesn't you know she's. She's just kind of out for herself, like they all are in this movie. And um, I, I, I just have always enjoyed that movie. I always enjoyed that performance of hers. And she's had so many since, and we've, you know, we've talked about yeah. some of them already. Today. Um, we only overlapped once. Yeah, but that one I figured, I oh, figured there was no not, way that that we not, weren't going to have that was yeah. that one in common yeah. at least. So um, yeah, so let's let's so, let's recap. Joe, you want to do that now? I'll do that. Go ahead. Oh, I'll go first because you just spoke, so now I'll be able to remember them, actually. Yeah. So you had Fargo, yes. and you had um, Blood Simple, yeah. and the other one, 
Come on, man. It's really? just like us I on know. here. Almost famous. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was, that was a, a little bit of a joke there's, there. there's a movie in there. called Barely Perceptible <laughs> Almost Famous That's, That's yeah, right yeah. And You had We overlapped on Fargo yeah. Which of course is That's a candy yeah, that's, exactly, yeah. that's gotta be um, Three billboards outside Debbing, Debbing Missouri. Missouri Yeah and uh, Wonder Boys? Yeah. 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 Okay, that was your third one. That which which doesn't have a question mark in the title. Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys. It's just Wonder Boys. So yeah. yeah, really, really fun, weird little movie. Yeah. Um, so those are those are six movies to uh, or five movies definitely to watch. Definitely to watch. Um, yep. you had a question about movie posters for me. Yes. Yeah. Something about like what left an impression or yeah one one way or, or the other lied to me or, yeah because probably um, the one that sticks the one that sort of jumped into my head when you asked that question was the poster and all the subsequent like billboard marketing that you saw at the time for it because you had no idea what it was. And this is one of those things that it definitely. So like, I'm intrigued. I, I have now. to go see this movie. What, exactly. What is, going? is this yeah. movie? Tell me. Uh, it was for Forrest Gump. Oh yes. Because it was just that. It was just him sitting on a bench. Yeah. Exactly. And you saw the poster. You saw the billboards. And the only question that went through your mind was, "What the hell is this? What is this about? Yeah. What? Yeah. And is this a clothing? It ad? just what yeah. Is this it just for? didn't. Yeah. It gave you it, it gave you nothing. Yeah, it's and for public public transportation. He's sitting on a bench. It, that's yeah. it. So it was um, it was. I thought that that one was. I I thought really good. Um, posters that lied to me <laughs> or didn't. Um, I don't know. I just. Hmm. You don't have um, to come up. With I don't an know. Do I don't yeah. think I. I have, yeah, probably the there are a lot of great movie posters out oh, yeah. there that sure. you know and they're so iconic. You know, you've got Jaws, you've got Empire Strikes Back, mm -hmm. those, those jump yeah. into my head. Um, so, yeah, I, I, what I, what what are you thinking guess, when I, you ask? I that guess question? like I I think the the idea of a movie poster can be such a valuable tool if you think about it you know you, you see you see a poster say in the movie you're going to see something else oh, and then yeah. you see the po oh i'm gonna keep that one in mind the why so serious posters from um the dark knight those were great posters i i've the, got there's like of some some of the you know the uh poster can 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 really just sell this yeah. idea you know the movie so it, it can be such a valuable tool um the, the the reason I asked the question was because sometimes it just it's your first impression, which is the which is the whole yeah. idea of what the poster is supposed to do. So sometimes you you've seen the poster and that's what's gonna bait you. I'm like clickbait. You just go, oh I gotta go see that movie. But sometimes it can go the other way, and that's like hmm, that's a little misleading. So let me just. Say I saw a movie because I heard it was good. Mm -hmm. Hadn't seen the poster yet. Okay. And then as I'm leaving the theater, I see the poster. Kalank. Yes. <laughs> Kalank two. two. The Kalank. <laughs> the Kalank. <laughs> no. Uh, the the uh, movie in question is. Um, Drugstore Cowboy. Okay. Great movie from the late 80s. Yep. All right. I go see the movie and it's... Uh, it's it's about drug addicts. Yeah. People who are strung out, having a bad time, and they're reduced to and enjoy um, robbing pharmacies and sometimes hospital pharmacies. Who wouldn't? So it's it's not it's not it's 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 wonderfully done. It's it's a great movie. I'm trying to remember the post. But there's no there's nothing 
there's nothing bright and light no, not about this movie. It's a it's a it's 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 well done, but it's a serious topic here. And done just, in a serious way, done, done pressing well. yourself. Yeah, it's it's just you know it's dark and it can be depressing, right? So anyway, so I see the movie. I'm walking up to the theater, and I see the poster, and there's a poster, and it's and we'll put it we'll up put here. The poster. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's. It's, there you go. There There's is the poster. Perfect, right? It's it's, it's amazing. Bright. That it's it's bright. <laughs> it's and it's sunshiny. It shows uh, <laughs> Matt Dillon, and I want to say he's embracing with this big, just loving hug with uh, Kelly Lynch. Okay. See these two? They're in love. This is great. It's cute. They're, so, they're freshly scrubbed. This poster it's doesn't a beautiful scream thing. to you. This, We're move, rob a this poster was the, the most misleading thing. I remember seeing that thinking, <laughs> I just watched this movie. That is the that's the poster that's pushing the movie I just saw. I just found it to be so misleading. And I and thank God I saw the movie first and then saw the poster, because that like really yeah. hit it home like. That has nothing to do with that movie. You'd be misled. I mean, you'd really be misled. And if you went to go, oh, it's it's about two young people in love, I guess, who hang around a drugstore, I guess, because it's called Drugstore Cowboy. I don't know. You know what I mean? And it's just, uh, it's not, it's nothing it's not like that at all. <laughs> but uh, the movie's great. I just found that that poster, which, like I said, can be a valuable tool. Clearly. That one was... What the? Um, I, I, one of my favorite movie poster stories, as if everyone has a movie Everybody's poster Everybody's got story. a movie poster no, this, story. Um, I this, just is gonna, this is, <laughs> this is going to go back to my, um, to my movie theater days when I worked in a movie theater. You worked in a movie theater? I did. Hmm. Um, so, you know, movie posters in the lobby and stuff like that. And this goes back to... Um, this is a while ago. So you have three, three sort of those big frame things, display cases for movie posters. Side by side? Side by side, boom, okay. boom, boom. Gotcha. One, two, three, and someone, and I'm gonna, I'm hoping that I found the picture to put up here. Because the S you took a picture of there's a there is a photo of it okay. and hopefully I've been able to find it in post hopefully to put it so. right here and you can see that it's the S from Superman, right. the E from Aragon, and the X from one of the X Men movies. Yes. So the best part about that each was, one just has a single letter. Boom boom boom. Yes. I so gotcha. it was um, the best part about it was seeing. Um, our boss just walked by, do do do, look, and just uh, and just keep walking. Like, how, why do I have to deal with this too? So it was, uh, it was pretty. Am I the only adult here? So yes. Um, yeah, that's um, that's what. Was she the only adult there? No question at all. No question. So. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my movie poster story, and uh, I really hope that um, post recording of this episode, I was able to find that and um, put it up there for you. But it's a story that should hope. be told anyway. So um, yeah, that's my uh, that's my movie poster. Oh, I like that spiel. So uh, who do we got for next time? Who do we have for next time? Let's take a look. See. You get to pick. Give me the bucket. Okay. Mm, huh? All right. Let's see what we got here. This one. Did you pick two? I. Hang on. There is one on the outside. I'm only looking at obviously the one on the, the inside. One yeah. Um. Yeah. Right, let's see. That's a good one. Well, at least I, I'm gonna have fun. Yeah, that would doing be fun. research and yeah, getting be reacquainted. Good. Yeah, with that's some one homework. of the, the most fun parts about this is um, yeah, the homework, you know, doing some homework and yeah, uh, I agree. finding movies to watch. Yeah. As if you need uh, a, any, reason. Uh, a reason to go looking for movies to watch. Yep. So, um, oh, 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 we don't want you to see what's on that. 
So anyway, folks, um, thanks for watching Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. Again, we'll remind you to subscribe and like. Throw in a comment if uh, you've yep. got some thoughts. Share. Um, find Check us, us out, on too, on uh, Facebook, Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram, as we yep. both say. These are so well rehearsed. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.